everyone, what's up? This is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me. Alright, so before I get mad or before I rant in this video, I would like to greet every woman out there. Happy International Women's Month! Also, I just want to say that I'm very proud to be a woman. I love being a woman. To be honest, I was supposed to do this video by the end of March because I have some video ideas lined up for the following weeks. But because of a certain incident that happened to eight Asian women, I thought I should be doing this video right now. I just don't want to be silent. I don't want this moment to pass without me saying anything about the topic or talking about the issue on my channel. It's really sad and heartbreaking to hear or read this news during the Women's Month. And I know that the oppression, the unfair treatment, the injustices toward women, especially women of color, have been happening for not just the decades, but for centuries. And it was sad, but also I'm just really so mad right now. But I don't want to rant on this video. More likely, I'd like to express myself as an Asian woman. Also, I'd like to educate more. So if you want to know what's been happening, what happened to the eight Asian women in the US, go ahead to the resources link on the description box. There are also like donation links. I hope that I can find donation links for the families of the victims. If you can't really read right now, I hope that you save it for later or you save the link or whatever you want to do, but just do it. So in this video, I am so happy to have this list. I have here seven books written by Asian women featuring female characters in a fictional book. I love this books with all my heart. I hope that if you haven't read any of these books, you will pick them up later on after this video. And without further ado, let's just get this started. Okay, so in this seven books, I have different genres and different age level. Let's start with the first one that I'd like to recommend to you. This is a middle grade book written by a Filipino author. I read it for In Cosmic Dreams back in January and I really like this book. The first book that I'm going to recommend you is Everlasting Nora by Marie Miranda Cruz. As I've said earlier, this is a middle grade contemporary following the story of Nora who is a 12 year old girl from Manila North Cemetery. So if you are not familiar with that place, it's a public cemetery here in the Philippines. And with that, you already have an idea that the place is very congested. And Nora lives there with her mother because they lost their home in a fire and also Nora's father. So this story will start when Nora's mother went missing one day and she has to find her because she thinks that she was into some kind of trouble. So this book I would like to recommend to every middle grade lovers out there and if you'd like to read more on Filipino representation on a middle grade perspective. I just really think that Nora's character is well developed and I think she's a good role model for 12 year old kids. I think she has a very positive outlook in life and she really perseveres and she's very resilient and she also loves her mom so much. So yeah, I highly recommend this book. It has a great female 12 year old character. So go ahead and check this out. It's available in Book Outlet, I think. Alright, the next book on my list is a YA contemporary romance and it follows this Asian character who has been going through a lot at 16 years old because of her cultural background. And the book that I'm talking about is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahera Mafi. So this book, as I've said, it's a young adult contemporary romance. It follows the story of Shireen, who is a 16-year-old Muslim. And she's been going through a lot because this book is set in 2002 after the 9-11 incident. And you already know the story of that wherein Muslims are being tagged as terrorists everywhere in the U.S. and even in the whole world. So Shireen, being 16 years old, in a place where it's predominantly white there are a lot of racism but 
amidst of all the chaos, Shireen will find two things. The first one is her love for break dancing. She's always been in love with break dance and she wanted to try it, but she's being questioned all throughout because how could she break dance when she's a woman or she's a Muslim and all that stuff. And also, second thing that she will find in the story is her love interest who is Ocean James. And there are going to be a lot of conflicts because Ocean is a white boy. And according to the people around them, they are from different worlds. So as you can see, the story is a lot. And it's a contemporary romance. But I don't think that the romance is really the focal plot in the story. I think that this is more educational and informative. I just really think that this book was well done. The story is well done. The characters are very YA, I must say. So yeah, go ahead and pick this up if you haven't yet. I love Tahira Mafi's writing style in this book. And I just really appreciate her a lot in this one. Alright, next YA book that I'm going to recommend you. This one is a fantasy written by an Asian author. I love this author so much. I've said this a million times on my channel. But the book that I'm going to recommend you is one of her underrated, underhyped books in the community. And this is The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. So this one is a YA fantasy. It follows the story of Nanurl Mozart, who is apparently the sister of Wolfgang Mozart. So this is like a spin-off story of the Mozart family and the characters are loosely based on the real-life Mozart family and that makes this book really really interesting for me. So this one is like historical fiction. It is set in Salzburg, Austria during 1759. Again, this follows the story of Nerl who is as talented and as gifted as her brother Wolfgang. But she can't get recognition for that one because during this time wherein it's very patriarchal, very misogynistic, very sexist part of the history, women can be composers, can't be musicians. Nanurl has experienced a different kind of prejudices and unfair treatment just because she's a woman in this story. There's going to be this magical entity that will offer Nanurl something in exchange for something else. And I just thoroughly enjoy this book. I read it last December for the Trio's live show. I'm gonna put the link on the description box and also on the iCard on the screen. I just really love the representation of women in this book. I just love the concept and the idea on how long it has been since women have been experiencing oppression and unfair treatment. So yeah, please don't slip on this book. This is one of the books that I think that are not getting so much recognition when it deserves it. I just love Nanur Mozart's character so much. So I highly suggest go pick this up. This is just an easy read. All right, so let's move on to the adult fiction that I have on this list. I am going first to the only adult fantasy that I have. And this book, oh my goodness, if you haven't read this one yet, this one shouts women empowerment, women leadership. I love this book so, so much. And it's also written by a Filipino author. And the book that I'm talking about is The Wolf of Ordenaro by K.S. Villoso. So again, as I've said, this is an adult fantasy. It follows the story of the bitch queen named Talien. And Talien is the queen of this kingdom called Jin Sayang, which is based on the pre-colonial Philippines. So in this story, we're going to follow the bitch queen as she goes to a different nation to make amends to a husband that left her and her son five years ago. From then onwards, a lot of things are going to happen. And Talian has a lot of enemies inside and outside her nation. And she was trying to survive in this world wherein people are invalidating her throne because she's a woman. So this book, I really loved it with all my heart. Talked a lot about women being discriminated and people invalidating her authority because she's a woman and she's not supposed to lead a country or a nation. So this whole trilogy is a journey of Talian trying to prove her worth, trying to prove her throne, that she deserves it. And I just love this book so much. The third book is coming out this year. I am so, so excited for that one to come. It's so good. The cover is so good. I highly, highly suggest this one. And being a Filipino, I just love this book so much for everything that it has represented from our culture, like Filipino values, beliefs, 
Filipino food. I mean, oh my god, I love it. Go ahead and read this one. All right? All right, now we're done with the fantasy. Let's move on to the adult contemporary romance that I have in this pile. I really enjoyed this book so much. So the book that I'm talking about is Last Stand Standing by Lauren Ho. Oh my god. I love this book. So this book, if you don't know yet, this is a debut novel by this author. And as I've said, this is an adult contemporary romance. It follows the story of Andrea Tang, who is a Chinese Malaysian. She's 33 years old. She's a lawyer and she's like living her life to the fullest. But there's only one thing that's missing in her life. And that is a boyfriend. So she has a very conservative Chinese Malaysian family and in every reunion or gathering her relatives always call her out and Asking her when is she getting married because apparently 33 is too old for being single in their culture and their family's beliefs Yeah, that's very Asian. I just have to say so the story will revolve as she searched for her true love and also a guy that her family would approve. And I thoroughly enjoyed this book. And what I love about this book is how it portrayed Asian family culture that sometimes it becomes really toxic, you know? When you've been following the beliefs or the culture of your family, sometimes it becomes problematic at some point and you will lose yourself in that process. I think it really represented how a woman in her 30s is trying to navigate her life according to what she wants but also trying to be respectful with her roots or with her Asian family and I don't know I just feel resonated and seen in this book I'm not yet in my 30s and I don't have like a very conservative family but in my age right now people have been telling me to get married because it's not really that good for women to get married after 30 years old yeah highly recommended this book all right, next book that I have for you, this is one of my favorite authors of 2020. This woman, I will get everything she writes, like everything she publishes in the future. I will surely get myself a copy because I love her writing style and everything else. And this is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. And I've picked this book up because I've been wanting to read this for such a long time. So if you don't know yet, this is a contemporary fiction. This follows the story of two mothers. The first one is Elena Richardson. She was like this mother who is very by the book and she does everything according to rules. She is a very obedient, law-abiding citizen in their community. And they were like financially stable and yeah so she was like the ideal mother so the second mother in the story is mia warren and she and her daughter just move in to this community called shaker heights where in elena richardson and her family lives if i'm going to describe mia she was like the opposite of elena because she's a single mother and she's an artist she doesn't have a stable job and she's not really so much into the rules if you know what i mean so there are a lot of things in this book and i just love celeste eng's writing style i've been saying that in my other videos and i still stand by that i just love how the women were represented in this book there are different kinds of mothers in here how different mothers can be and how they are very different in showing their love and care for their children and i just love the concept so much i love the shaker heights community so much like the representation of it itself um plot wise nothing is really so much into this one this is more like character driven so if you like character driven stories if you like stories that will just make you sit down and think for a while or if you just want character analysis i don't know something like that you can go ahead and check this book out all right so we are on to our last book and this one is the most recent book that i've read among the stack that i have in here i've read it last month for the trios book club and i'm just really so glad that i've read it and the book that i'm talking about is pachinko by min jin lee 
So this follows a saga of a multi-generational Korean family who happened to be in Japan during the 1900s. So it will start in 1910 in Busan, Korea, and it will end in 1989 in Japan. And to be honest, that's all I can say with this book. And as you can see, the timeline of this book is so long. That's why the book is also this thick, but it was so good. It's so good. One of the best historical fiction that I've read in such a long time. What I really loved about it is even though this has also a lot of male characters in here that I think are also meant to be like the main ones, I think Min Jin Lee really did a great job of portraying female characters that are very empowering and inspiring in my opinion. What I really loved about the representation of women in this book is we've been so used in the community telling us that men are the pillars of the family like they are the foundations of a family but in this book i don't think that is true i think in my opinion the women in this family they are the pillars they are the foundation why this family have persevered why they've gone through everything you will also get to see a lot of commentaries about women being oppressed being treated unfairly and being discriminated in both korean and japanese culture i also love how the other characters were portrayed as morally gray in the story i think they're very human and very realistic and very raw so i just really love this book if you like historical fiction especially if you like japanese or korean culture this book is a good pick for you all right so those are all the books that i wanted to share with you i highly highly recommend every book on this list because i think that they portrayed really really well the female characters in this books and also i believe that they are great asian women authors but anyway if you're interested to any of these books the links of the synopsis are going to be on the description box as well as the trigger or the content warnings if it's applicable for the book so if you've reached this part, can you please recommend or suggest a book by an Asian women author on the comment section below so that I could get some recommendations and also for the other people who will see your comments. I hope that you are safe, you are healthy, you are happy wherever you are, especially if you're a woman. And just remember that the world is yours for the reading. Bye and see you on the next one.